And first alert meteorologist Tania Michelle here live at the Talladega Super Speedway. Come ride with me as we find out how they're preparing for the weather conditions this weekend coming up on the four. Live and on your live to meteorologist Tania Michelle. Tania, at least no storms at the moment. No, matter of fact, this is perfect race day weather, and I'm hoping the conditions for this weekend are just like this. Right now, I was just looking at current temperatures of 80 degrees, mostly cloudy, and the reason why you like it mostly cloudy is because you don't have to sit in the stadium and in the stands with the sun beaming down on you. This is perfect. Of course, we don't want that rain around for us this weekend, but there is a chance, so we'll continue to give you updates on that, but there's three major races happening this weekend. Let's take a ride so I can tell you a little bit about that. Number one, there's a race, the General Tire 200 and the Ag Pro 300 on Saturday, then the Geico 500 on Sunday. One of the big races here at the Talladega Super Speedway. We want the conditions to be perfect. And of course, the light breeze kind of helps. It's not good for a hair day, but perfect weather for a speed and race day. The conditions are so nice out here. We're going to later coming up be talking with some people that play a major role in putting this together and serving the people who come out here. We were also driving through and just entering the gates, all the campgrounds, people really out and, out and about outdoors soaking up these gorgeous conditions. Like I said, this is perfect race day weather. And I know many people who are going to be enjoying the races this weekend would love to come out and enjoy these exact conditions. Low 80s, mostly cloudy skies with that light breeze, as you see my hair all in my face. But it's so great because everyone is so excited. You come out here, you see the smiles on people's faces and of course I might not be riding in a race car right now but it's pretty fun to be riding in a golf cart to get that real life race day experience but I'll continue to give you updates and we'll talk to some people who are part of the Talladega Super Speedway coming up right here on WBRC Fox 6 News live in Talladega Tania Michelle WBRC Fox 6 News always on your side all right Tania is having a lot of fun and someone else had a lot of fun today out there at Talladega have you ever wondered what it was liked to drive a race car around the Talladega Super Speedway. Well, Mike Deverly got that opportunity today through NASCAR on Fox to preview Sunday's Geico 500 on WBRC. And we'll talk about the race day experience. Mike telling us his adrenaline was certainly <laughs> pumping during that uh, NASCAR race experience. After getting suited up and going through a, a brief training session, yeah, you got to train, Mike, that's for sure. <laughs> he climbed into a real stock car with a, a spotter in his ear to guide him around. Mike got onto that two point. 66 mile tri oval with his feet to the gas pedal wide open. He was even able to pass one of the drivers next week, but some dry weather early next week. Some dry weather right now out at Talladega as we go to meteorologist Tania Michelle Tania. I heard the cars uh, I could hear on my uh, earpiece a few moments ago. I thought you were making laps around the track. I sure wish I was, but Wes, I keep hearing you say that R word, and it's like a curse word out here. It rhymes with cane. I'm not going to say it because fans and myself, we're hoping for the best this weekend and hoping that word that rhymes with cane is not around for us this weekend. There's several events happening this weekend, race events, I should say. There's two on Saturday, the big one on Sunday, but who better to speak to than the president of the Talladega Super Speedway himself? This is Brian. Brian, how are you doing today? I'm doing wonderful. Thank you for coming out to Talladega on such a beautiful day. I know this is perfect race day weather. I mean, I'm hoping it's just like this for the weekend. We're looking at temperatures right now in the upper 70s. And you feel that light breeze, Brian? Uh, it's beautiful. Beautiful. Okay, so in case there is some more unsettled weather around for the weekend, what does the protocol look like? What does that look like for you guys here at the Speedway? Yeah, so obviously we're watching the weather really, really closely with the forecast that we have. But we also have contingency plans in place. So if, unfortunately, we lose a race, we already have a scheduled time. We're not releasing any of those, but we, we understand where we're going to be. But the key thing is we have over 30 pieces of dry track drying equipment that's here at Talladega Super Speedway. So jet dryers and air pushers. And so, I mean, we are prepared. As soon as we get an open window, we're going to get this track dried and we're going to go racing. Very cool. And now I want to learn a little bit more about you. You have a long history when it comes to NASCAR. How long have you been here? 
Yeah, so I've been at Talladega Super Speedway for 14 years, but I've been with NASCAR for 24 years. So I worked at Chicagoland Speedway, Daytona International Speedway, but now I'm at Sweet Home Alabama right here at Talladega. Sweet Home Alabama. And one last thing, what is something that you're looking forward to for this weekend? Uh, just fans having a great time. We're in the middle of our Talladega Garage experience here. It's like an amusement park. You can get up close to the race cars. You can see the drivers, the crew chiefs, seeing the smiles on the, the uh, fans' faces. That's what excites me the most. And I can see the excitement already. We'll continue to give you coverage live here from Talladega Super Speedway. Meteorologist Tania Michelle, WBRC Fox 6 News, always on your side. All right, Tania, thanks so much. New lights coming up. Tania? First alert meteorologist Tania Michelle here live at the Talladega Super Speedway. We'll be talking to someone who collects cars like these and more coming up right here after the break. Sunday. Let's head to Talladega right now as we check in with meteorologist Tania Michelle. Tania, at least so far today, the weather's been incredible. Oh, absolutely perfect, Wes. I mean, the clouds are still pretty much around. The sun started to peak in between the clouds and temperatures were hanging on there in the 80s and upper 70s. Beautiful conditions with a light breeze, too. But I got to talk about some addictions. Let's talk about it. Some people have addictions to food. Some people have addictions to candy. And then there's other things. But my friend, John McKinney, has addictions to collecting cars. But it's a good one, right? Yes. Well, I think so anyways. <laughs> it is a good addiction. Well, tell me, how many collectibles have you gotten so far? We've got quite a few. I've probably got uh, finished and unfinished probably around 22 right now. And I believe the one right behind us is one of your cars, right? Yes, it is. It is. Uh, that's uh, that's Davey Allison's 92 Daytona 500 car. Uh, pretty much as is, as raced. Uh, we use, we, Talladega uses it from time to time to display, and they've had it on track for a few times. and. Uh, just enjoy bringing them down here and letting everybody look at them. Very cool, very cool. How did this hobby, I'm going to call it, how did this come about? Just lifelong fan of NASCAR and the sport, and uh, one leads to two and two leads to 22, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> I love it. What does the Talladega Super Speedway mean to you and your family? Uh, it's just, it doesn't get any better than this. It's all American racing and uh, the people and the fans and it's the relationships you meet with people. That's, it's, it's all, it's what it's all about. And how many times have you been out here to experience this amazing event? Well, this has went on about five years now. That's awesome. What are you looking forward to for this weekend? Sunshine. <laughs> Hopefully sunshine. I agree. I agree. Well, we'll continue to keep you up to date on the rain. Well, we don't say that word, guys. On the chances for this weekend but of course we're hoping for the best so that the talladega super speedway can be enjoyed by all the people who traveled near and far to enjoy the event first alert meteorologist tania michelle here live at talladega super speedway wbrc fox 6 news always on your side all right tania thanks so much and of course you can watch the race if you can't get to it you can settle in and watch it in great big hd surround sound <laughs> on wbrc fox 6 this sunday no rain in like this i'll be back with a seven day forecast it's time to head out out to Talladega. Yeah, Wes, this weekend is going to be jam packed, so we're not going to let the rain let, get us down. Let's head now to Talladega Super Speedway, where our meteorologist Tania Michelle is getting a first hand look at this weekend's Geico 500 race. I know you're expecting Ricky Bobby, but hey, we got Tania out there. How are you faring, Tania? Have you gotten behind the wheel yet? <laughs> No, I haven't, but you saw me on the golf cart earlier. That was pretty fun. No. Not the speed that I was looking for. I want to go 200, right? I want to be 200 miles per hour in one of these race cars that's going to be taking on the track this weekend for the Talladega Super Speedway Geico 500. There's many other races happening tomorrow to kick off the weekend. So I brought back the president of the Talladega Super Speedway. How are you doing? I'm great. Thank you for having me back. Absolutely. So I know you're busy throughout the rest of this evening and of course the whole week weekend along with the team here. How are you feeling? Are, is your energies levels have it been down at all? No, it, it will not come down until next Thursday or so when that <laughs> adrenaline runs out of your body. This is the just the time that we work so hard for twice a year. So we're excited. Oh yeah, and I can feel the energy here. I know it's a lot quieter now. People have are going to get some good rest tonight because it's a long weekend ahead of them, right? So what time are things starting off for tomorrow? Yeah, so uh, tomorrow we've got two great races. So at noon, we've got the uh, General Tire 200, which is the Arkham Menard Series, and then at 3 o'clock, 
the um, Ag Pro 300, which is the NASCAR Xfinity Series. So, you know, it's a double header tomorrow, but I like to say it's a triple header because we'll also have the Cup cars on track qualifying as well. So, all three series on the track tomorrow. It's going to be a huge day. And I know you were talking to me a little bit earlier about the food prices out here. So I know when people are out here, long hours, it's hot. What does it look like? What kind of food options are there for family and friends to enjoy? Yeah, so we're in uh, Talladega Garage Experience right now. It's the you know $50 million renovation we did back in 2019. One of the things that's great about here is the value price concession. So we have $2 bottles of water, $2 Coke products, $2 hot dogs, $4 chicken fingers and fries. And if you like a beer, only $4 for 16-ounce beers. So Talladega Garage Experience is the place to be here at Talladega. Four dollars, two dollars, you heard it right here. Talladega Super Speedway. Things this weekend are really going to crank up. We got to see a taste of it today, but this is just the beginning. Lots going on this weekend, but will the forecast hold up? We're going to go ahead and claim it. Yes. <laughs> Live here at the Talladega Super Speedway, meteorologist Tania Michelle, WBRC Fox 6 News on your side. Hey, Tania, looking great out there, and I got to say you have me at $2 hot dogs.